Hello, Seltzer here. So this video is from a stream I did of this game, Call of the Sea. It's a puzzle game that came out in December of last year, and it was really fun to play. This video is just going to be chapter one because it is kind of a long game. So without further ado... No. Prologue of Family Heirloom. Oh, we're underwater. Huh. Alrighty then. Oh. Gloves. Alright. Let's see if there's to see her. Light guy. Understood. A magical rock wall. Some very bright coral. Nice. Tell me. Uh, it looks like we're pretty completely underwater. I know this place. I've been here before. How? Oh, there's a door in the wall. There's two, there's two doors in the wall. It can't be good. I guess there's nothing behind them. This is some sort of dream, isn't it? My old music box. It's broken. I have to fix my old music box. I, I have to get it. I have to... Okay. <sighs> oh. Those horrible dreams again. I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box in her will. Hmm. Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease. If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness, I'll search for one myself, you said. And in that search, it seems you lost yourself. Hmm. I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. Great. Hmm. All right. Time to gather my things. Hmm. Those hands, just with the background here, give me kind of a Bioshock vibe. Captain Hodgson has a very particular taste when it comes to decor. I mean, it's a boat. Hmm. I think I've overpacked. Just a bit, maybe. I'd always dreamed of traveling. I was not the same without nice. you, Harry. Everheart and Nora. Arriving in Tahiti from San Francisco. Alright. So he has a harpoon gun. Can you take that? No. <laughs> Alright. Dresses. Our diary. Ah, the amazing adventures of Nora Everhart, art teacher. Hmm. It's time to open the journal. Nora, remember this? Number 506. I guess that's the house. And our gloves. To hide our illness. <laughs> I'd better cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. Well, your arms are still a little exposed there. I received a mysterious package at my house. I stored all its contents in my locked suitcase. Hmm. It's 
from Tahiti. After spending so much time reading this book, I think I've learned a thing or two about Polynesian ah. culture. Oh my, I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Thank goodness I always bring my journal with me to write six. things down. Oh. There we go. Bye. All oh. right, now it's open. So it is. This strange and sharp relic came in the package I received at home. That'll be useful. This is Harry. Harry Everhart. My husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it. And some enigmatic instructions. Alright, I'll take it. And what's this? I saw this that island like in one of my unsettling dreams. I drew it as soon as I woke up. Take that too. Alright. You must be ready now. You're okay, okay, Nora. From here on out, you're on your own. Out of the pool. Lower the motorboat. Be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lads. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. I hope it too. I'll see you in three days then. I hope it doesn't take us that long. Please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson. Hmm. 74 miles east of Motahaiti. Well, here I am, in the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world. Just hmm. miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. What's wrong with the boat? You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you, but suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, old pal? What did you find? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refuse to even name. It's awful pretty, though. I really like this kind of Everything art Everything is familiar. So familiar. As impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? Looks like it. This this can't be a coincidence. There's even a little rainbow going. A breathtaking, idyllic island, surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? I'm not doing a very good job of it. Just swim right past those. There's definitely something strange about this place. Yeah, the giant key on the mountain, I think. It's a little odd. I mean, somebody's already been here. Definitely somebody's already been here. Well. Oh. Alright. There's some tire tracks. A tent. So somebody was on this island recently. Oh, thank you. Hmm. A note. A note written in French. I only understand two words, ill and mort, island and death. Too bad I don't read French either. It must be a warning about the dangers of the island. I would assume it's probably a letter to somebody, rather. Why would you just, why would you not, you know, stake it to the log or something? There's even a wall here. 
There has to be somebody over here. I feel quite good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. Alright. Let's check out this gate with spikes. Very welcoming. Already. Looks like it opens from the other side. Wonder. Oh, there's little birds. Huh. Alright. Well, we follow the tire tracks or go take the walking route. Oh, it's very, very welcoming. Let's see. What about this sign, then? These wooden figures are called Oom. Oh. This seems to be telling a story. Alright. Hmm. There's another one. About. Some little larger fish hooks there. Some An salt. offering of mother of pearl, quite valuable for the Polynesians. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It may look peaceful, but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. Yeah, I feel like the spikes were kind of a giveaway. What a lovely flower offering! Oh, it's an offering. There's another one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This also looks very welcoming. Ah! Our friends from the tent must have been here. A carving tool. This box. CW. Those are the initials on the brass key. Very it convenient. opens it. So whoever sent me this key was here. Hmm. Some kind of screw. Oh, I guess we lift that to get this a screw. This is starting to look like a scavenger hunt. No? Can I not take it with me? Alright. Get rid of it down. Ah. There we go. Done. From what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big one? Um, to keep somebody out, I think. Well, that ah. did something. Oh, we must see the screw for this one. Alright, I'll go get that then. Yeah. Yeah, alright. Well, look what's hidden here. But why hide it? Seems kind of pointless. You could just lock the door. We got a way to lock it from the other side. But we're not having boat if you really want to. It works. All right. Hmm. Yeah, it's very pretty. This may be the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. Hmm. Is that funny? Yeah. All right. Well, somebody's come through here, and I don't think it was native people. Is huh. that Harry? Harry, you were here. You were here and I found you, damn it. Where are you now? Where is everybody? Where did you and all your crew go? So it's only been a couple months then, if it was still 34. Lady Shannon? That name sounds familiar. I'd better check my Probably journal. Three weeks. Weapons and explosives. Fragile instruments. Lady Shannon, huh? He knew some of the crew members on the Lady Shannon, a whaler, took an American expedition to an island east of Tahiti. I guess that's all we were meant to. Is that the 
captain of our ship needs Lady Shannon. Hmm. He's a mountain. Well, let's check out what this guy. Why isn't this a good place to set up? A mechanical bridge? That doesn't fit in with Polynesian traditions either. No. Hmm. This reminds me of those slot machines that Harry and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier. What a Polynesian version. Hmm. Well, I assume there's something around here that gives you a clue about which one goes where. I don't want to brute force it. Let's go down this way and see what It's been years since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders. Or is it the island itself? Ho oh, ho. Oh. That's cute. There's a red one. What a beautiful mountainous landscape. Seems to me like a warning more so. Hmm. So that's three peaks, I guess. I can feel the air is denser here in this mangrove swamp. Right. There's another one. I bet these will give us the clues for the slot machine section. Rays of sunlight shining through. Another symbol. Another symbol. Hmm. This is four. So the three triangles are four. What was that another one? Oh no. It's pretty close to the Yeah. Now that I've crossed half the world, I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. Mm. But I have to do it with you, old pal. Hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Here's another one. This one oh, it also has four, so it's not very helpful then. This sort of pond is a Polynesian fishing technique. There's another symbol inside it. At least we're writing them down, that's something. So sun, fish, mountain. For some reason. Nothing else around here, huh? Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll be back. I think there was five or so symbols. Let's see if there's anything else this way. Oh, this is just the way we came in, isn't it? Oh. Let's see that. So we have gone down that way. We just came from back this way. Maybe there's yeah, it looks like we can it looks like it's blocked for some reason. Hmm. All right, I guess we'll continue down this way. I hope there's a couple more of those red statues. Yep, there we go. Oh my, oh. this is so beautiful. Uh, <laughs> what were these birds necessarily called? Right. Oh, we're uh, on the other side of the door. Lorikeets. Cole's lorikeets. Lorikeets, all right. There's a bunch more of these guys. Let's see if we need them. The symbols that we want. Hmm. Hmm. Some of them are the same. Hi. There are lorikeet feathers scattered around this unu. I'll draw the symbol. Polynesian chieftains make their head ornaments with lorikeet feathers. What a lovely souvenir. Souvenir? Oh, I'm just not taking it. Hmm. <laughs> Is that enough symbols? No, there must be one more. So we came in. Nothing much up here except the barrel. 
Thank you. This looks like cargo from an earlier voyage, long before Harry's expedition. Hmm. All right. Well, there must be one more symbol, but maybe we can just guess that one. Let's open up the door. As long as we're here, might as well. A shortcut. That's convenient. Mm -hmm. right, well, I guess I'll just head back this way, and hopefully there's some different. Harry said that he would go to the end of the world to find a cure, and by the looks of it, he wasn't lying. We promised we'd never lie to each other from the moment we started dating, no matter how harsh the truth. Hmm. So we're back here again. We were five. We've only got four. Let's see. And the fourth symbol is it's that sideways one, isn't it? No. Nope. Just try the other configuration. So the sun is above the mountain. I presume the birds will be under the mountain. They might be on top of it as well in the sky. The fish would definitely be at the very bottom here. And it might be a boat. And let's try it with the birds above the mountain. Well, there we go. Alright, so it's sun, That's my ticket birds, the mountain. I presume boat and fish. So who who closed the bridge then? If the mechanism is on the other side here, and there's going to be on my side of the island moving forward, somebody else closed the bridge behind me. Oh, that little flash here. I don't know if that was the graphics, but there's something up here doing that. It's not exactly promising. Hmm. I'm back. So that was the end of chapter one. Chapter two is just around the corner. I'm going to work on getting that edited and uploaded for you guys. Uh, hopefully within the next week or so. And I will see you then.